What is the difference between a single pass and a recirculating clean room? There's really not an enormous difference between a single pass clean room and a recirculating clean room. It just has to do with the preciseness of how you control the return. In any clean room, you're taking the air and you're pushing it down through the room and then you're transferring it out of the room. Now, what, the difference between a single pass and a recirculating is what you do with that air once it's purged out of the room. Are you just going to control the return back to the plenum? Or are you going to just let that air wash into the surrounding areas? The difference or the decision on which one to use has to do with the preciseness of your control. If you're controlling temperature and humidity very tightly, you want to use a recirculating system so that once you've conditioned that air, you're not letting it escape. Now, the good side about a single pass clean room is, as you purge the air out of it, you're allowing that air to then fill, recirculate through the surrounding area and actually serve to clean up that surrounding area. It's, it's essentially just taking a mini environment and making it a, a larger environment. How you make the decision on whether you should use a single pass and a recirculating depends more on the tightness or the preciseness of the control of the temperature and humidity than it does on the tightness or control of the particle count.